Hey guys, I'm alive. I've been in this mode to just share information about eating disorder recovery and it's more specifically my experience when it comes to eating disorder recovery and I can't really explain why that is but I've just been feeling this need to just share this so I've challenged myself to batch out videos on topics that have just been on my mind things that you know I still read people's comments on here and um, I still get DMs and messages from people who have recovered from eating disorders uh, or excuse me are in the process of recovering from eating disorders and I kind of just want to share common themes and mistakes mistakes that I keep seeing um, things that could possibly be holding you back um, et cetera, et cetera. So on that topic today's video is eating disorder recovery habits that might be holding you back in regard to reaching complete eating disorder recovery. So I want you guys to be very honest and I want you guys to kind of look at your daily life during recovery and think about the things that are holding you back, things that are focusing on the problem instead of the solution. So imagine your ideal self, like your recovered self, what would she be doing? How, how she, um, would she be thinking? Um, what are things that, um, how would she talk to herself? How she would, how would she talk to her body? Um, what things would she eat? Um, how is her relationship with food and weight? Like really get specific. I, I talk a lot about ideal, like getting your um, specific on your ideal vision of your recovered self. Um, but think about the things that um, your ideal self, whoever that is, whoever she is, um, how she's living her life in full recovery. Then once you have a uh, get specific on that, you can write a vision statement, you can visualize it, whatever, um, vision board it, whatever works for you. But after you get specific on that, then we've got to go back a little bit and we got to talk about, well, what, where you're at now versus where that person is, you know, that ideal version of you is. What are the habits and the actions that are getting in the way of that? Because the only difference between where you are and where you want to be are your actions and your habits. So um, when I was coaching with Nina Vasetic, who was my first ever eating disorder recovery coach, and I attribute my recovery to thanks to her, um, she had me write down all of the things that um, I was doing that was getting in the way of my recovery. So weighing myself, trying on clothes that no longer fit to see if I'm losing weight, um, body checking, um, still holding on to some pseudo dieting ideas such as, sorry guys, there's a truck, um, holding on to pseudo, idea, um, pseudo dieting ideas like, oh, I, you know, I can eat it whatever I want, but after between eight and eight, like eight at night, eight in the morning, I, I have to intermediate fast or, you know, just still hang on to some dieting um, rules. Um, other things um, that I, I was doing as well was talking about, you know, my body and, and talking about it in a bad way to other friends, um, eat, um, exercising to lose weight, not because it made me feel good or for, you know, just for the well-being of my body. Um, hanging out with certain friends who were triggering me, who were big into fitness and health, and even though maybe they didn't mean bad or weren't malintent being around that talk and that conversation is still very highly triggering um other things i fell into this trap for a while was focusing too much on recovery instead of living my life as if i was recovered so doing a lot of research on eating sort of recovery intuitive eating um watching all the videos and books about recovery from eating disorders stuff like that so there gets to a point where it's like yes i need this information but you you have to get to a point where you just know to let it go and to trust yourself and, and trust your recovery and just let those things go because the more you focus on I'm not recovered I need to recover I need to recover what is the 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 life-changing answer to my recovery the more you're focusing on the lack and the more that you're focusing on the problem instead of the solution so it's scary to let go of those things I know I was scared to let go of all of the eating disorder recovery books intuitive eating books all of that even my coaches who I was working with at the time but it was a step that I intuitively knew I needed to live my life as if I was recovered because um, my recovered self would not be consuming all those books and podcasts about um, eating sort of recovery. So I encourage you guys to take a look at your daily habits, all the things that you're doing to, that is focusing on um, on the problem, on living you know like um on living your life focused on recovery from eating disorder eating disorder recovery or triggers 
and then slowly you can let them go slowly try once a week of you know look at the list try i'm gonna start this one i'm gonna start this one i'm gonna start this one this week this one the next week this week this one the week after or you could just do cold turkey and try it all i what i had to do was kind of like i had to do it in in um segments like i had to do like batches like three at a time because it was like a long 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 ass list um but that is kind of just what i wanted to hop on here to share with you guys it was really on my mind what are the habits that are keeping you in eating disorder mode and what are the things you need to do to let go to and then bring in the actions replace those actions with living as if your ideal self was already recovered is was already here so you know instead of you know um weighing yourself on a scale every single morning you throw out the scale or instead of um spending hours and hours reading about eating disorder recovery you decide to take a class uh, like a dance class you know so so focus on that it's hard it could be a little intimidating at first but it it'll get there it's slowly but surely you'll win the race okay don't try to overwhelm yourself slowly and surely um does win the race so i hope this helps and let me know what you guys think